We invited Bud Norris to sit down for a final interview with the Skagit Valley Herald as mayor of Mount Vernon. In this clip, Norris responds to criticism from the community. Well, um, I want to go back to um, Glenn Beck and talk a little bit more sure. about that. So you gave the, the key to the city to Glenn Beck two years ago. And more recently, you said that English should be the city's official language. Mm -hmm. um, you also withheld the liquor license, although you did approve it eventually. But you w initially withheld it uh, to those two Hispanic brothers who wanted to open the can restaurant. I, can I clarify that for you? Go for it. I didn't have the ability to withhold it. All, all, I had the ability to give the Liquor Control Board my opinion. Okay. Uh, that's totally up to their discretion whether or not they uh, give, uh, uh, provide the liquor license. And there have been liquor licenses provided over the objection of local elected officials. And there have been uh, liquor licenses that have been turned down as a result of that. Well, let me rephrase it then. So okay. you, you told the Liquor Control Board that you didn't approve of the, of the taco and tequila restaurant's location. Correct. Um, so some people have looked at this track record and they have suggested that you might possibly be racist. And I <laughs> wanted to know what you think. I think that's ludicrous. You know, as soon as I got in office, I uh, moved to uh, develop an agreement with the Community Action Agency to utilize Channel 26 for uh, Spanish language program. Uh, that was a, an agency that, as a county commissioner, I was one of three commissioners that established that agency. You know, uh, I don't think I have to justify my position because I have a long history of interaction with the Hispanic community. And because one person says that, you know, that stands up and expresses that in a uh, city council meeting, I almost think that's a disservice to me and the community for that to be emphasized because that same individual uh, was uh, probably at 15 uh, council meetings uh, over the eight year period that I was there. And his volatile attitude is something that I think people should evaluate. He was there a month or two later when we talked about uh, the English language, or no, it was about the um, uh, deportation of uh, illegal felons. Uh, he was, uh, you know, there expressing support. So, uh, you know, I don't know that you can put uh, a whole lot of stock in his consistent uh, statements. No, I don't think it was statements. just him, though. I know that we had a lot of comments on Facebook that suggested mm -hmm. that. Um, they saw a greater insight into into some mm -hmm. of your actions regarding the Hispanic communities, and that's also including the secure communities proposal from the Immigration Customs mm -hmm. Enforcement. So, um, you know, I, I guess the question is really more about this general public perception mm -hmm. that some people seem to have of you as a racist. And I know that you had said to me in private that you wanted to expand a little bit on that question. Uh, it, so. I'll tell you. Uh, Someone uh, could come up and uh, accuse you of being the same thing. Mm -hmm. And then do you feel like that you're adequately equipped to uh, uh, defend yourself on that? The way you write your articles, you know, that you I don't might... think anyone's ever accused me of being a racist. Well, but... I, they could, though. They could. What I'm saying is, and so you're not immune to it, you know, and so I don't really feel like I have to defend myself because... I have a long history of interaction uh, with the Hispanic community. Had uh, Hispanic partners in business, and you know, right on down the line. So, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I've uh, demonstrated who I am and what I am, and that's basically all I have to say about it.